From the Weather NorCal Command Center, this is your morning update. Kent's Meats and Grocery is much more than a grocery store. We carry a full line of quality meats, local and organic vegetables, and a large variety of fish, Green Mountain Smart Control pellet grills, and a full deli case of sandwiches and side dishes. Well, good morning, everyone. The weekend is almost here. Many of you might have plans today, tomorrow, even for your Easter Sunday as well. So you're going to want to watch the forecast pretty closely, especially if you have any outdoor plans. So I do expect rain today and tomorrow. Sunday is still a kind of a bit of a question mark, and I don't expect it to be a big deal as far as any rain or snow is concerned, but it's still not out of the question for a little bit of wet weather on Sunday. We're going to talk about that a little more detail in that deeper dive forecast coming up a little bit later. Now, I do expect snow levels between three and 4,000 feet continuing, uh, and then it looks like we'll be looking at mainly dry with uh, just a slight chance for a few straight showers, as I mentioned, for your Easter Sunday. Early next week, drier and warmer conditions are in the forecast. I know a lot of kids have that spring break. At least the first half of spring break should be looking pretty good here locally. Let's take a look at your neighborhood forecast here for today. Just kind of a quick glance. And yeah, we've got that wet weather again here for today for the Valley, Trinity County, pretty much everyone. Everyone has that chance for rain. As I mentioned, snow levels somewhere between three and 4,000 feet. So this is the next storm system that I'm watching here. This is the main area of low pressure right here that's been impacting our weather the last few days. But this came out over the Pacific and it's been developing and now we're really starting to see it begin to take shape. You've got that classic comma shape, you've got the area of low pressure right there and that's what's all moving on in. All right, so we don't really have much in the way of thunderstorm activity today. There is a chance for thunderstorms going into tomorrow. But really, when you look at this, you have to look at it with a grain of salt. Number one, most likely many of these areas will not even see any thunderstorms. But we can't rule out a stray thunderstorm here or there as we take you through the day on Saturday. So let's take a look at future casts, walk you through the timing. So in advance of that storm system that we were just looking at that's approaching, the flow coming in from the south is going to continue to feed in the clouds and some showers here through the morning hours with snow levels between three and 4,000 feet. This is gonna impact your mountain travel here, especially for those higher snow pat mountain passes, say around 4,000 feet or so, uh, and going up higher than that. Then we go into the noon hour. You see how it's kind of turning into scattered showers? Could even see, I mean, the thing is, the chances are slim, but if you hear a rumble of thunder, don't be surprised. And you can see some brief periods of moderate to heavy rainfall as these cells come through into the noon hour. But you see how the heaviest rainfall is still kind of to the south and to the west. Now we see a push of heavier moisture coming in as we go into the afternoon and evening today. So there you can start to see some of that rain kicking in. But look at to the north. I mean, it's way in the scattered showers. We're just not seeing anything all that heavy for Siskiyou County and even out towards northern Humboldt and Delmore County. But again, a stray shower is not out of the question, not to mention those snow flurries between three and 4,000 feet. I mean, even parts of uh, many parts of Lassen County really not seeing that much activity either. Now we're going to take you into tonight. Another push kind of coming through. So scattered showers. And again, a brief period of some moderate to heavy rainfall is not out of the question through the uh, night hours tonight, going into about 11 o'clock and even into midnight tonight. But again, notice to the north, not much rain and not much rain even for the north coast at this point. But really, for the most part, things are wrapping up a little bit before we see the next round coming in. As that area of low pressure shifts to the south, we're seeing a bit of a break for many of us Saturday morning. However, still a chance for a few showers to start off the day tomorrow in the valley. Now, this might be overdoing it with the overall intensity, but you get the idea. Still some showers out there, a little wet, and not to mention the cloud cover. Now, notice we're getting that flow coming around that area of low pressure. Now it's kind of coming down in this direction here. Scattered showers, as you can see here, as we go into the noon hour. If we get enough breaks in the clouds and enough daytime heating, that's when we see that potential for some thunderstorms popping up for many of the mountain locations and not to mention even the valley. I mean, the thing is, if we have that clearing there, we can't rule out a stray shower or thunderstorm even for the valley going into Saturday afternoon. But you can see a lot of that activity is off in the higher elevations and not to mention even along the coast. Again, that's tomorrow at 5 p.m. Snow level still around 3,000 to 4,000 feet. Now check this out. As we go into Saturday night, it's really starting to dry out and we've got most of the rain and not to mention snow down to the south and east. So really we're drying things off for Saturday night and even Sunday morning. So if you have 
Easter egg hunts, if you've got that early, um, you know, Sunday service here for that, you know, those sunrise services on Sunday, I think we should be looking at dry conditions. Now, this forecast model only goes out to 10 a.m. on Sunday. So be sure to check in at noon and later this evening if you want to get a little bit more specific going into Sunday afternoon with the shorter long, with the shorter range forecast because the shorter range forecast is going to have a better handle on whether or not we see rain at all on Sunday afternoon. I'm calling for a slight chance for showers Sunday afternoon for parts of the valley eastward into Modoc County in the Eastern Mountains, but I think most of Siskiyou County, westward into Trinity County, and not to mention Del Norte and Humboldt counties, most likely staying dry through the day on Sunday. All right, so take a look at the rainfall for today, a quarter to maybe a half an inch in the valley. But again, notice as you look to the north, that's the, what we're, I was talking about. Most of the rain will be to the south of Siskiyou County, Del Norte County, and even Modoc County as well, and not even seeing that much today for the Eastern Mountains. Then we go into tomorrow. You see how we see that next round of rain kind of kicking in, a half an inch to maybe an inch for some of us in the valley. But again, look at, De look at Del Norte, look at Siskiyou County, look at uh, Modoc County. Not much rain to the north here. You head to the south though, that's where we're seeing the bulk of the rain. In fact, it looks like the valley is really gonna see the bulk of the rain out, out, of, the, out of all of this here through the next couple of days. And not even that much even heading into Humboldt County, although Southern Humboldt County, Garberville, for example, I think you'll be looking at a better chance to see some decent rainfall coming out of this here over the next few days. Snow, well, not a ton in the higher elevations, but you know, I think overall the forecast model is doing a pretty good job picking up on the potential for a dusting of snow out towards Mount Shasta City, not to mention Chester, maybe seeing a little bit more than that. And then heading into the Northern Sierra, we start to see a bit more in the way of that snow. Of course, this is gonna impact your mountain travel. Now today, snow levels between three and 4,000 feet. I-5, I think you'll be okay. Highway 299 between Redding and Arcata, I think you're gonna be okay. And really not even that bad in the higher elevations east of I-5, but as we go into this evening and tonight, I do start to think we're gonna to start to see more in the way of this blue here, and even some darker blue, indicating those snow levels dropping as that colder air moves in into the overnight hours. I-5, probably still okay, not to mention Highway 89, but you definitely need to keep a close eye on those road conditions if you plan on traveling at all this weekend. All right, so take a look at the winds. Yes, I think they're gonna be off and on breezy conditions here for everyone. Uh, but overall, I don't expect any major wind events. I think the strongest winds will be along the coast and not to mention in the Eastern Mountains, but again, off and on breezy conditions for the rest of us. So here's your Trinity County neighborhood forecast. Temperatures are gonna be in the 40s, maybe even around 50 degrees for some of the warmer spots. Notice on Sunday, it's got dry conditions here. That's what I'm expecting here. Showers off and on today, tomorrow for the North Coast, but Sunday I think should be dry all day for the North Coast, the inland areas as well. We take you off to Siskiyou County. Now, this is where it gets a little bit more tricky. I've got you dry for Easter Sunday. However, I think places like Doris and Tennant, maybe even McDowell, could see a chance for a few showers and then eastward into Modoc County. Otherwise, I think the rest of us uh, for Siskiyou County should be dry as we go into your Easter Sunday completely, right? And then we go into Friday, Moda County does have that chance, Easter Sunday, and of course the snow flurries off and on today. But again, not a lot. You saw that, how much rain. It's, it's to the north, Siskiyou County, Moda County, Delmore County, just not gonna see a lot of rainfall over the next few days. But heading south of that, this is where we see some heavier uh, potential and especially going into the valley. So you've got that rain today, temperature of 54 degrees for Corning, 49 degrees in Pasquinta and Durham about 56. Your valley neighborhood forecast to the north, 46 degrees in Whiskey Town, 51 in Lakehead and 55 degrees in Palisadro. So let's take a look at that seven day outlook. So you got the rain today, could be heavy at times and showers through the day on Saturday. Can't rule out a thunderstorm and can't rule rule out a brief period of moderate to heavy rainfall on Saturday as well. Now Sunday, Easter Sunday, mainly dry, especially for the first half of the day. Could we see a stray sprinkle or a light shower Sunday afternoon? It's not out of the question. Here's what I'm going to say. For now, I'm thinking it should be dry for the most part, but I don't want you to be surprised if you're out and about on Sunday in the valley and suddenly you run into a stray sprinkle or a light shower. All right, so that's just kind of the main thing here. So don't be concerned about heavy rainfall. And I think the Easter egg hunts, 
early Easter morning sunrise services, I think you're going to be okay. And then Monday, Tuesday, you're looking at much warmer weather. And there, of course, you can see more showers. Yeah, we've got more showers under the picture here for Wednesday, Thursday. So stick around for the deeper dive forecast. We're going to talk about that in a little bit more detail and that Easter Sunday forecast. But before we get to that, I want to make sure you know about our free Weather NorCal app here at uh, Weather NorCal. All right, so go to your app store on your on your um, iPhone and your Google Play Store on your Android device and search for Weather NorCal. Download the app for free. I think you're going to like it. Play around with it. You know, look around here. There's all kinds of great things. You got the radar. You got you can watch the video forecasts on there. They're all updated. You can watch these forecasts. And they're updated three times a day, seven days a week. So, of course, you got Brian updating it on the weekends for you. I'm here updating it on the weekdays for you. It's just a great resource for you. Wherever you are, you can always check the latest local forecast right here in Northern California. So there's that storm system I've got my eyes on. I've been talking about it pretty much all week long. You've got the cold front that's associated with it. This is all moving to the east and southeast. So this low pressure system, basically it's gonna be diving to the south very slowly over the, next, over the next 24 to 48 hours. All right, so let's go and take a look at that area of low pressure here and kind of take you through time. Now, of course, we saw earlier Kind of the short range forecast kind of give you some good timing here for today tomorrow and even into sunday morning so we're not going to really focus a whole lot on that i just want to show you the trajectory of this storm you see how it's diving to the south here so by tomorrow we still got that flow around that area of low pressure and it's bringing in that moisture this is where we're seeing that rain this is where we're seeing that snow all right so that continues to dive down to the south now here's what's interesting all right, so this is Saturday that we're looking at. You see how we're still seeing that activity? Still maybe a chance for a few isolated thunderstorms, as mentioned. This low pressure dies out, but some energy breaks off from that and now moves off into Nevada. Now, the thing is, the flow around that low may be just enough to bring parts of Northern California a chance for showers as we go into Sunday. Now, as you saw, Sunday morning should be dry for everyone. But as we go into the afternoon on Sunday, we may get just enough instability for a few stray snow flurries for places like Lassen County, Plumas County, and Modoc County. Even the valley may see a stray sprinkle or a light shower. But take a look at Siskiyou County. Dry, dry for Del Norton Humboldt counties and not to mention Trinity County. So this is where I think it'll be dry all day long Easter Sunday. Maybe a stray sprinkle for the valley maybe a stray shower or snow flurry to the east of that into the eastern mountains and even Modoc County. Is it going to be a lot? As you can see here, no. Number one, this doesn't have a ton of moisture to work with. Number two, we're on the back side of this low pressure system. It's going to be on the east side of that low where you're seeing the bulk of the activity. As you see that moisture wrap around, it kind of really starts to break down as far as the overall amount of energy associated with that, but certainly enough that we could see that stray shower out there. All right, so again, I've been talking about it. If you run into a straight sprinkle in the valley, don't be surprised, especially Easter Sunday afternoon. All right, so Monday, Tuesday of next week, got a root of high pressure building. We're getting another taste of spring. It's going to warm up again. Ah, uh, but don't let that fool you because winter still wants to grab a hold of us and keep a hold of us here, right? So we take you into Wednesday, Thursday. Here's an area of low pressure, cold air too. So not only are we going to see a chance for showers starting as early as Wednesday, Thursday, even into Friday, but it's got some cold air associated with that. And that's going to mean fairly low snow levels. I don't think it's even out of the question for places like Weaverville, Hayfork, next Thursday to maybe see some uh, rain snow mix down to about 2000 feet. So things could get interesting here. Uh, as we get into the middle and especially the latter part of next week. Again, not a major storm, it's just cold uh, and especially cold for this time of the year. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at uh, the precipitation outlook coming in from the Climate Prediction Center. And we're getting back in the green here. So you saw that break in the wet weather here as we go into Monday, Tuesday, but then we've got some chances for showers coming in toward the uh, middle and latter part of next week. And that's also, as I mentioned, that colder air is moving in. So that's going to drop our temperatures as well. So we're up in the 70s, close to 80 degrees for some of us in the valley Monday, Tuesday. But then we're seeing a, another big dip in our temperatures toward the middle and latter part of next week. All right, so here's your marine forecast for your Friday. East winds at 5 to 15 knots. There is a small crest advisory through this afternoon and then should be allowed to be lifted after that. In fact, you can just take a look at this. There's Friday. 
nine to 10 feet here. Uh, as we go into your Saturday, they may increase a little bit here with that storm system that'll be uh, continuing to impact us on Saturday as well. All right, so let's kind of wrap things up here and take a look at your seven day outlook here for each region. We'll start with the valley. There's the rain and the showers that we have here for today. We've got showers, maybe even an isolated thunderstorm on Saturday. Sunday again, I mean, I can say it all, all day long here, right? Mainly dry Sunday morning, maybe a stray a sprinkle or light shower Sunday afternoon, but I wouldn't count on it. And then Monday, Tuesday, much warmer, and then more showers by Wednesday, Thursday of next week. Your coast, inland, and of course your Trinity County neighborhood uh, seven day outlook. Of course, the showers off and on through Saturday. I've got you dry for Easter Sunday all day long. And of course, we're keeping it dry and warmer for Monday, Tuesday of next week. There's a look at your seven day outlook for Mount Shasta, of course, for Siskiyou, Modoc, and the Eastern Mountains. I've got that chance here for El Turris and Modoc County in general and the Eastern Mountains as well on Sunday but mostly dry, especially for central and western Siskiyou County. And then it's dry and warmer for your Monday, Tuesday, before we see that next round of showers and even snow by the middle and latter part of next week.